I was hoping we would get a couple of better looking images over the course of the last two days that we got some grainy images of White Tiger. And lo and behold, we do have them. So let's talk about what the character looks like and how they're really leaning into the Netflix budget like look for Daredevil Born Again. First up, before we get to it, just to make it very clear, there are multiple versions of White Tiger. Marvel does the whole legacy thing, different people take on the mantle, it's a thing, you guys probably understand it and know what it's all about. Anyways though, we've heard for months here, actually might be years now, White Tiger is happening in the MCU, we're gonna get it, and also, we're gonna see the character in Daredevil Born Again brand new set photos you guys can find a link down below for well they're grainy images but at least they give you an idea of what you're looking at in terms of hey that's clearly white tiger we see white tiger it looks like the character is just robbing a store and we get a better look at the character's entire outfit like we get everything from the top all the way down to the bottom to the end of the boots we see everything uh, the costume is pure white with black stripes, which, yeah, that checks out. That's the uh, white tiger. But what I find most shocking here is that when people were demanding, we want Daredevil Season 4, that Marvel literally heard everybody and said, you know what? Okay, we're going to give you Season 4 by literally spending $198 to make White Tiger's costume. Because from what I can see, it's just white pants, white boots, a white sweatshirt, and a 3D printed white mask with black stripes, and that's it. It literally looks like something that they would have thrown on the Netflix series because they didn't have money, and Marvel Entertainment wasn't interested in spending more money on suits. Now, that's not to say it looks terrible, because it's probably going to look great in the show when it's lit properly, and we know exactly what they're going for, and obviously it's a little bit more... You know, in motion, because we had set photos leaked from tons of Marvel projects where the knee-jerk reaction is, this is the worst suit I've seen. And then you see it on film, you're like, actually, that looks good. I'm always reminded of our first look at every Captain America suit on set. It always got backlash. And then on film, everybody's like, yeah, that looks great. So just hang back a little bit. And I'm also saying this to myself. I'm playing a little devil's advocate there. But it does look rather not so white tigery. I was kind of expecting more of a Black Panther suit, but maybe this is going to lead to the evolution of it. Maybe this is just a proto suit. We don't know the whole plot here and the extent of what they're going for. So I'm willing to give it benefit of a doubt here. But if this is what it's going to look like in the end, it's kind of disappointing. Um, Like this looks like and I don't mean it to sound like an insult, but it's going to sound like an insult. This looks like a cheap cosplay. Not like one that you can get for like $800. I'm talking, hey, somebody had overnight, they were told they were going to New York Comic Con, and they said, yeah, I'm going to be White Tiger. So they went to the local store and said, what do you got that matches this? Got some white pants and then decided to just spray paint black lines on pants and shirts. That's what it looks like, unfortunately. So, um... Let me know your guys' thoughts. As a reminder, we do read the comments. We just tend not to reply, because if we reply to one person, then everybody goes, ah, oh, why are you replying to this person and that person? And then it gets into another war. If you want our thoughts on it, it's always on our Facebook group. You guys know this. That's where we interact with you daily. 